have uh, people lined in this evening coming to join us, James Ravishak. Quaison, good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Hope things are going good. Yes. It's been going good this year, right? I mean, the Wildcats not playing bad basketball at all. You guys are playing well. Yes, we are. We, um, we are 19 and I believe 9 or 19 or 7. We, we're playing good basketball right now. I know you wish you were playing this week. You guys kind of got shafted in some ways because no conference tournament this week. I know. We, we was um, kind of shocked. We were surprised. We were, um, we, we was ready. Most definitely. We was ready. Practicing hard, good practices, people ready to play and everything. Who could you tell us? Who is the toughest team you've been facing this season? I'm going to give some teams. Name some teams. I want you to tell me about these teams. What did you face when you guys matched up against, let's say, Eastern Alamance? What did you see in Eastern Alamance? Um, I see in Eastern Alamance. They're, they're very tough, especially the guard, um, Lamont Robinson. Little Junior Robinson? Yes. Yeah, yeah, he was in the same chair in a couple weeks because he was up here with us. Tough little players. So that was uh, Eastern Alamance. You probably put a lot of that focus on uh, Junior Robinson. Then. Yeah, it was a lot here. It's, it's tough to contain, and we got to just. Um, another team we had was. Um, um, How about let's look at this Northern Guilford team? What you see uh, in Northern, Northern Guilford? Um, they pretty, they pretty tough and physical. They had good size in them. Beat us, able to beat us down low, but we were able, able to run them and yeah. keep them going. What about this Northeast Guilford team? What about Northeast? Because it looks like to me, Eastern Guilford, Northeast, Northern, and then look at Eastern. That's the top four teams in the conference, I would yeah. say. You guys are almost different than the rest of the teams in the conference. What about that Northeast Guilford team? What was tough about um, them? They're a pretty good team, too. They, um, they, they're a lot physical. They like to keep the tempo going. And, um, they, they play big. Pretty. I would say this year, Northeast, maybe, I know they've got some good guards, but again, inside, that Todd Withers kid, you remember him, I'm sure. Yeah. The big tall guy, man, that was, that was tough. Yeah. He's still tough. He, yeah, he's tough. Yeah, he's tough. So who's, other than Eastern Guilford, you got to lay, lay it on the line here. Who's the toughest team in your conference? Um, that we will play, I say, I go and see the Northeast or East Island. Tough choice between the Rams and the Eagles in between yeah. those two. Gotcha. How about on your team, other than, uh, say, look at Quayshawn Williams, who's the toughest player on this Eastern Gifford Wildcat team on your team, other than yourself? Because you've got to be averaging, what, about 20, 22 points a game. I know mean, the past couple of games, you may be higher than that. Yeah. But on your team, who's the toughest player other than, uh, um, say, Mr. Williams? Toughest player, I go with. Um, um, I go either Andrew Robinson or Caleb Robinson. The two Robinson brothers, huh? Yeah. I saw you guys in that Page game. Let's go back to that Page game. You got beat by that Page for a lot of the season. Number one ranked 4A team in the state. You got beat by them, I think, in overtime with just a couple of points. Played a tough uh -huh. Page team. You look at the competition you guys play. You guys play some tough competition. Saw the Robinson boys in that game. Sometimes it looks like to me, maybe I'm looking at this wrong, sometimes it looks like Andrew, the younger Robinson brother, is sometimes even tougher than Caleb. Yeah, sometimes he, he was he able to step up real big, and especially in cut, cut situations. And Caleb, he's... He's he been doing this thing too, but Andrew, I see, he, he got a lot of toughness in him. You can get some more tough, before you leave tonight, be sure to get your meal. Mm -hmm. You got your meal ticket, I think. Is Aaliyah here? Aaliyah, here's your meal ticket if you want to get that. It'll kind of break things down. You may want to get a little food before you even visit with us. If you don't, we we'll give it to you after you get finished. But you get the free meal here at Shane's. Thank you. And you'll be up in just a couple of minutes. Uh, talking about things here with Quaison Wins, here was a big question. Well, my, my, my question is always about names. Before I even got to meet you, I asked your coach, Joe Spinks, Mr. Joe Spinks. Uh -huh. We don't want you guys to call him Joe. You kind of call him Coach or Mr. Spinks. Yeah. So keep this right. I asked Coach Spinks, I said, This Quaishon Williams, is he related to Quaishon Williams? Do you ever get that question? People um, ever ask you about that? Yes. Um, I had it, especially, I had it twice. Yeah? No, maybe. F yeah, I say twice against um, me, Michael. That's the. I had that question asked from them twice from the same coach. But the fact of the matter, Coach Spinks told me you're not related to Quayshad, who was at Eastern Guilford several years ago and later went on to play for Greensboro Day School. Mm -hmm. But you guys came in there, what, New Jersey a couple years ago? Uh, yes. So you guys moved in here within the past couple of years, in recent years. In. Yeah. You mentioned McMichael. Here's another good question for Quayshad Williams. Tell me, who is the best guard in the league? we got to break this down again, too. we got Quayshad. I'm going to let you include yourself in this one because you may want to get a shout-out for yourself. you got Quayshad Williams. You got Quan Mims, you got Junior Robinson, and uh, gosh, how about the maybe the Curry kid or somebody from up at Northern? Who's the best guard in the league? Um, I have to go with most definitely is me. Then I go with Robinson. Yeah, I go with Robinson. Then I go with I go with um, 
Juan Mims. Juan Mims, up at McMichael, pretty tough player there yeah. too. What are you guys looking at? You may know this, you may not. I know your girls are playing tonight. They've got a yeah. game down at Williams tonight. Williams They're playing this evening. Yes, ooh, that's a tough matchup, huh? Yeah, it is. A tough tough match. women's matchup to Eastern Alamance, Eastern Guilford. Then they've got a men's game down there too tonight, I believe, as I well. North, Northeast, I believe. They and play Eastern Alamance. East Alamance. Ooh. Major matchups. Major matchups. This is for conference. Yep, that'll be for the top seed as you go to the sectionals. Yeah. That's my question for you. I guess you don't know who you're going to play next. We don't no. know yet, right? No, we know. I do not. We don't find out, I guess, that until Saturday, Saturday when they set those sectionals yeah. up. Now, from your standpoint, are you a junior or a senior? I'm a junior. What's going to happen between now and next year? What are you going to do to keep improving your game? Because you've got another game left, a sectional game coming up. That'll be next week sometime. What are you going to do to keep improving your game between now and next year, your senior season? Uh, I'm going to stay in the gym and play AAU basketball and work out. Who will you play AAU ball for? Um, the Cobras, uh, with Kanaya Repu. And, um, you don't mean Kanaya over Repu, the guy was here a couple weeks ago. Yeah. He mentioned you, I think I remember that now, because he was sitting in the same chair you are about two weeks ago for New Garden Friends School. Yeah. The Cobras, that's a good team. Yeah, I um, uh, forgot his name. Um, the other one that played for New Garden Friends. Uh, he came from Northwest. Oh, yeah, Kane Ma. Kane, yeah, Kane, Kane was here also that night. Kane's a, here's a battle now. You're a point guard, right? Yes. Kane's a point guard, right? Yeah. Who starts? Uh, me. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Got to have and that comes. We also have the two. Uh, we have Sam. Sam and. Would it be Sam Hildreth? Um, from Northern? Northern. Northern, Sam Hildreth, yeah. the big tall guy. Sam Hildreth. It's Sam and Josh. Josh Gibson. Yeah, Josh Gibson. Yeah, who coaches the Cobras? Who's um, the coach? Uh, coach, um... Is he, is, he can't come up right now. Um, we'll think of him, but is that a local team? I mean, you got a lot of local guys. You got... Um... How about Coach Williams? <laughs> we'll go with that for right now. Yeah. What about you look at yourself, you look at this Eastern Guilford, and we talk about you do get better between now and next year. Are you? I mean, we had Junior Robinson in here. Junior was here. He's got this deal, I guess, with St. Mary's. He's going on to college. Uh -huh. What about yourself? Are you thinking about wanting to go on to college and play? Uh, yes, most definitely. And I forgot his name. His name is Curtis Green. Curtis Green, okay. Well, that's one good thing. It was going to be a guy I couldn't think of. I'm glad you thought of that. I know Curtis Hunter. I've heard of him out of Northeast Guilford. Yeah. Curtis Green, the coach of the Cobras. And on to the college deal. You looking to go to college? Do you have any thoughts about where you want to go yet? I know you can't tell us where you're going to go, but where do you want to go? Well, I'm not. I really want to go to Duke, most definitely. But other than that, um, I'm just looking for um, a college university that's going to most, mostly benefit me. If you could, could not go to position. Duke to play basketball, would you still go to Duke just for school? Most definitely, yes. So it's not it's not all about basketball then for your no. sake. It's about the academic. So that's a good thing. So you will apply to Duke, even if the Coach K and maybe uh, some of the assistant coaches there, which are now like guys like, uh, gosh, they've got a ton of them down there. Wojciechowski, you can see Wojciechowski not bad. So yeah. If those guys don't contact you, you're going to contact them and try to get in school there. Yes. That's good stuff. Uh -huh. But i got to be thinking, I may be wrong, I see you playing uh, basketball in college somewhere. Yes. Um, um, uh, if it's not Duke, is there another school you wouldn't mind playing for? Uh, yes. Um, I go with... Um, St. John's. Ooh. I can see myself playing with Louis, Louisville. Yeah, okay. Um, and I go with... Uh, I'm not too, I don't know if I can see myself playing North Carolina. How about tonight's game? Who do you play for there if you're playing tonight's game? You got Duke, Duke and Carolina playing tonight? Duke. Duke, going with Duke tonight. Duke all the way. So we had uh, Hannah Howes, and we did have, she's a debate student, so we're going to debate back and forth between her and our side over here. You want Duke to win tonight. Tell me why you think Duke will win this game tonight. I believe Duke, they, they can um, spread the floor most definitely with their shooters and their penet penetration with um, Jabari Parker. And, um, Thornton. Right, the outside shot. What about Jabari Parker? Is he one and done? Is he gone after this year? Um, he could be. It's, it's, it's really up to him. If I, would, if I had to choose for him, I, I probably... He should... 
No, he, he could stay, but then again, he could go. I got to be thinking he's gone. I don't know what it is. I think he's gone. I think he, he I think he would be in the NBA already if they didn't have the rule where you got to go to college here, you can't go to the NBA until you're 19 years old. Yeah. I think he could have been there already. I think it's the, the rules changed. It's got a lot more guys going to college now. Got a lot more guys one and done. Now, if you were in his shoes and you had that talent, would you leave early or would you stick around and get your education? Um, if I had a chance, I would leave early. You would leave early? Yeah. Okay. Well, you're honest. That's the main thing. That's pretty much what you got to do. I asked those earlier people on this show, uh, have you ever heard of Al Jefferson? Al Jefferson? Yes. Who is he now? Um, the one that played for the Hawks. Close. Close. Not too far off. Al Jefferson, the Charlotte Bobcats, big center. Uh, having a very good season going on. Not a bad season at all for Mr. Al Jefferson. What about yourself? Talk about Coach Joe Spinks. What does Joe Spinks mean to this Eastern Guilford basketball team and Eastern Guilford uh, basketball program? Coach Joe Spinks. Um, he means a lot. He brings a lot to the stable, especially um, he brings uh, excitement. Um, he he just he just makes us real hungry. Like want us to go out there and go get what we want, what we came for, and most definitely what we all about. You guys have made some noise this year. This is a better team this year, Eastern Guilford, than you guys were last year, right? Yes. Um, we have a lot, lot more experience this year, and kids are ready to play and see how, how, um, how varsity, how varsity basketball is like, what it's really about, and how, how it's really played. How tall are you? What do you um, stand? Six foot. Six foot even. Think you maybe see yourself growing a couple more inches, get a little taller? Uh, yes. So about six foot two, six foot three, good spot for college at point guard then. You yeah. think? Yeah. Looking at Eastern Guilford next week in those sectionals, what do you guys got to do to win that game, whoever you're going to play, and uh, try to extend this season? Um, we're going to come out hard, most definitely, and we're going to um, keep the tempo going. Because I know we're, we, we, are not, we are our best in transition, and that's when we're um, able to hit our shooters, like Caleb Robinson at home. Yeah, I can almost see it now when you guys are playing Paige, bringing that ball down, the old drive and dish, dish it back out. Andrew, he was on that left side against Paige when you guys are going left, right. He was nailing some outside shots. He had a big game that night. That's what he best at. That's, that's the key to your success. Then. Yes. Who's the big man on this? And I saw you guys play Southwest Guilford, too. Didn't have much success against Southwest. That was that first game back after Christmas. You remember that one. But who's your tall man? Who's your big man? Our big man is um, Yazid. Yazid Lowry. Lowry, okay. Yeah, and um, uh, we have Deuce, Deuce Mills and Kyrie, Kyrie, uh, I've got his last name. He's the kid who plays football. Yeah, that's I mean, the, the linebacker. I remember that guy, yeah. But you don't have a huge post presence. You guys are more of a guard oriented team, right? Yeah. Wouldn't you say? Penetration to kick, most definitely. Uh -huh. You stop at Shane's Rib Shack. Did you guys have practice today? Will you be able to get some food? Will you be able to eat something in a couple minutes? Yeah. Uh, actually, that's where I just came from. Right? I just had a little workout. What did you guys get done today? Um, Working on uh, basically what we best at penetration and kicking. Yeah, we pretty sure we're getting a lot of shots up. Getting ready for the uh, opening time. I tell you what, I gotta get, we got to get a Leah Grittage in here soon. But before you leave, the hard part of practice today had to be, and the hard part of practice this week has to be, we're practicing, we're preparing, but we don't know who the heck we're going to be playing. Yeah, that is. Yes, that, that's pretty tough. But we got to do what we have to do. Got to do what you got to do. You got to win that sectional game next week. Got to keep the Wildcats going. Will the Wildcat women, you think, be a success in the playoffs? Um, yes, most definitely. Especially if they play how they should play, they, they should be successful. Do the two teams support each other at uh, Eastern? Oh, most, yes. Yes. Yes, they really big. they real big on us, and we're real big on them. I'll tell you one thing. If you want to get in a scrap, let me give you some good advice. Don't get into it with Coach Chris Britton. Okay. You come out of the short. <laughs> that woman is tough. She's a tough coach, but I like her style. She's tough, and she's done a good job at the Eastern Guilford yeah, Women's team. Good job. Very good job. Well, Payson, good luck to you the rest of the year. Uh -huh. Thank you for being with us, James Rib Shack. Be sure to get that meal. And uh, right now you're averaging about 22 points a game? Uh, yes, about that. Keep those numbers up and keep the assist probably, what, about four or five a game? Five. Five assists? Four. So you're averaging about 22. 22, five assists. You're responsible for 32 points a game. By next season, you got to have that at 42. Okay. Get the job. Thank you, young man. Thank you.